If you happen to be one of these people that uses the tick chart like I sometimes do, I sometimes don't, but I like to see it there. And you get this great big gap here. I found out how to get rid of that and I'm going to show you how to. I got a big thank you to my uh, trading mentor who uh, who may not be named at the moment. I might name him one day, but I'm not naming him right now. Okay, so don't ask. All right, I might tell you if you ask nice. But anyway, forget about that. Let's worry about this tick chart. So this tick chart, if ever you in the position where you think, God, I want to see a bigger tick chart, and you get this great big space. Well, <laughs> it, how annoying is that? You feel like you're being robbed of everything that goes on to the left here. Is Well, that's what they say. If you want to know what's going on, just look left. So um, I'm, I'm just going to show you exactly what I was told to do yesterday. I'm going to share it with you. Just let me get this thing back in place so you can see what's going on. Right. So all you do is, well, you, what, what causes it is the amount of symbols you've got. So if you go back into your symbols here, I just put a, I've got a stack in here. I had to put them in just to make this faulty again. And in this case, if you're just scalping, say, the euro dollar yen or the dollar yen or the euro dollar, whatever, that one symbol, if you've got a separate instance of MT4, then you just, um, well, it says symbols. So if you right click in any of these and just go hide all, because if you click hide all, it'll leave any symbols that you've got charts open for. So if you've got four charts open, I've got two here. If you've got four open, then it would leave those four. Uh, for you. It looks like we might even hit profit here. Oh my God, this is exciting on a demo. Um, so just literally hide all, bang. And uh, for some reason, I've got that left. I don't know why. You know, what you have to do is wait for this now. Uh, just it'll probably take a couple of minutes to get all the way across here. I'm not going to make you sit through that. I'm going to pause, and when you come back on, like kablam, kapow, chikow, this tick chart will be complete. Well, I'm back. I closed those other trades. It looked like it was going to roll over here, but <laughs> might be getting my fingers burnt in a minute. So that was a bit of fun anyway. Uh, but if you notice, the tick chart is back all the way across now. And what this means is that we can pull it out and you could have this on a separate screen if you were a big fan of the tick chart and make this as big as you like. Now I'm going to let this run for a little while so you can see that even this tick chart will fill up. And uh, as you can see, this is all full now. This will always be full now that the buffer is filled. So you can do what you want with it now. You can make it as big or as small as you want or you can just put it back down there. Oh, like that. No, not there like that there there you go see so you can just do that let me just move that out let's just tile those again all right well anyway i hope that was helpful but right now i'm going to go off and uh, i think i'm going to close these no not yet uh, i'm going to go off now get my strawberry jam and cucumber sandwich and uh, that's about it <laughs>